some coffee, Marcy. I'll help. <laughs> Me too. Hey, you know another thing that uh, you know another thing that makes women such a blessing to us. It's like when you're sitting somewhere and they come over and they say to you, "What are you thinking?" And you start thinking. You know, if I wanted you to know, I'd be talking. <laughs> now, I'm going to watch the news. And when it's over, I want some form of dead animal on my plate. <laughs> and the melted cheese marries itself to the juices of the succulent steak. And I want that dead animal to be succulent, Peg. <laughs> Al, did I ever tell you the sound of your voice irritates the hell out of me? <laughs> no, honey, you didn't. But in that case, there's only one thing I'll have to do. I'll just have to shut up. Yep, I'll just have to be quiet, because if there's one thing I don't want to do, it's irritate you. Not my little Peggy. Because if she's irritated, then I'm irritated, and if she's unhappy, then I'm unhappy. I can't believe it. They stole my radio right in front of my house. I know how you feel. If you did, Steve, you wouldn't be touching me. <laughs> now, anyhow, I'd like to add on to our house, you know. Just have a little room for me, somewhere I could go, relax, sit back, read the paper. Another bathroom, huh? <laughs> well, actually, uh, we considered adding on to our house when we bought it, but we need you to sign a variance to give us permission to build that close to the property line, and it seemed like an imposition. Oh, don't be ridiculous. We're friends, aren't we, Al? Who, you and me? No. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I was thinking that, uh, you know, while the girls are at the gym, this would be a good opportunity for us to just kind of sit around and shoot the bull. Hey, great. Uh, well, yesterday at the bank. <laughs> great story, Steve. <laughs> How you doing, Steve? Are you comfortable? Sure, Al. How could you be without a backbone? <laughs> And now you are going to hear what I have to say. 